I look like her to you? What? Hard motherfucker? Or maybe you think I'm just Section 8? Ray Ray, you confusing me. <laughs> well, let me unconfuse your sorry ass. This is the last time I'm gonna tell your punk ass to stop discounting my product. Cause it ain't nothing but a way for you to look like you somebody special. At my expense. So, I'm taking another 10% off the toll you turned me yesterday. And I want it all by 5 o'clock. But Ray Ray. 5 o'clock. We understanding each other? And every minute after 5, I'm going to tax your ass another 1% off the toll. You did? Yeah, all right. The old Ray Ray would have blown dude's head off for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then he would have been back inside wondering what the inside of a pussy feel like. So, jail made you soft? What's up, little bro? Why you ain't at school? Took the practice SAT. They let us out early. <sighs> nice, nice. Yeah, yo, go get us a couple fails. Don't trip. I got it. Oh, what? You getting money now, too? Yo, Ray Ray. Look at baby boy trying to get his Mac on. What you mean, trying? I taught his ass everything he knows. <laughs> I bet 50 he pull it. <laughs> Run it. So, so, get over here now. Yo, kid. Look, man, I'm trying to bust the person responsible for killing your brother, but I'm going to need your help. I told you, I wasn't there. Don't try to play me. I know you run with the Pony Down crew. I know that liquor store is right up your turf. Look, I don't know where you get your information from, but you need to check your sources. The woman seen talking to your brother had a tattoo on her neck that reads BMF. We think it stands for Black Mafia Family, a new gang. Ever hear them? I'm guessing your brother walked in the same time this woman rolled up. He didn't know any better, trying to get his rocks off. But you did. You seen him talking. And before you could swoop in and protect him, bang! Your crew chased after her. But she got away. You got anything to corroborate that outside your imagination? This BMF, they're your competition, right? Which means they were coming for you. Your brother got the first message instead. Tell me who she is so I can get justice for Alonzo. Look, no disrespect, but I'm a black man in Detroit. I seen what they did to Malice Green. I seen what happened to him. And trusting the popo don't come so naturally to me. Dear Demetrius, the truth is, you and I are the same. We're hustlers with high energy. The only difference is, you're in there and I'm out here. 50 Cent Curtis Jackson is the cultural force behind telling you, Terry, and the BMF story. A brilliant, but yet, tragic story 
of how you made it from nothing to something. Even if that something was considered by many as misguided or wrong. I see your story as a microcosm of a larger story. A story that people like 50 Cent are facilitating through their art and business acumen. A story that will have to be adhered to as the cultural dynamics of this country changes. I'm just trying to be part of that change. And whether or not I'm a part of the project that tells the BMF story. Just know, when you get out, you would have been part of us, young black males, changing the cultural story of who we are.